everyone say, Tim's going to the moon. Tim's going to the moon. Tim's going to the moon. This is the moment Tim Dodd told his family he's been chosen to go to the moon. So how does someone go from being a wedding photographer for one day? I didn't have a degree in photography either. I was a self-taught photographer. To then winning a $175 million seat alongside Steve Aoki and seven other incredible artists on a rocket that would go around the moon. Tim was chosen out of one million other applicants. But why is he now regretting saying yes? And who's the billionaire funding this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity? He turned the laptop and Yosaki was sitting there, which was unusual. And he just basically goes, Tim, will you go to the moon with me? <gasps> he is the talk of the global art world today, and his name is Yusaku Meizawa. Last night at Sotheby's, he paid $110.5 million for this painting by Jean-Michel Bastiat. To understand how Tim won this ticket to the moon, we first need to explore the man behind this project. My name is... Yusaku Maezawa. You can call me MZ, please. Yusaku Maezawa's life is like a movie. Born in 1975 in Japan, Maezawa's early life was driven by his passion for music. As a teenager, he was a drummer in a band called Switch Style, which he formed during his high school years. Music wasn't just a hobby for Maezawa. It shaped his entrepreneurial instincts. In 1995, after a stint in the United States collecting CDs and records, he returned to Japan and started selling imported albums. This modest venture would lay the foundation for his future success. But how did he make his billions of dollars? In 1998, Meizawa launched Start Today, initially focusing on the music industry. However, a pivotal shift occurred when he ventured into fashion. In 2004, Start Today launched Zozo Town, an online fashion retail platform that would eventually dominate Japan's e-commerce space. Zozo Town became Japan's largest fashion retailer, propelling Meizawa into the billionaire ranks. But his ambitions didn't stop there. In 2018, Meizawa introduced Zozo Suit, a custom fit clothing brand that used a unique bodysuit to measure customers for perfectly tailored clothing, reflecting his desire to innovate in both fashion and technology. Yet, Meizawa's passions extended beyond fashion. $498 million. Thank you, Yuki. Congratulations. A devoted Thank art lover, he founded the Contemporary Art Foundation in 2012, supporting emerging artists. He made international headlines in 2017 when he purchased a Basquiat painting for a staggering $110.5 million. His dedication to art also led to plans for opening a museum in Shiba to showcase his vast collection. Despite his massive success, Meizawa's relationship with the public has been complex. Known for his extravagant Twitter giveaways, where he randomly gifted large sums of money to his followers, Meizawa was seen as both a philanthropist and a controversial figure. He actually owns the record for the most retweeted tweet ever. Achieved in 2019, when he gave away 1 million yen to 100 lucky winners. His unconventional approach to wealth drew a mix of admiration and skepticism, but it also highlighted his desire to live life on his own terms. So what inspired him to send people around the moon? In 2019, Meizawa sold his stake in Zozo to Yahoo Japan for $3.9 billion. With this newfound financial freedom, he turned his eyes towards space. His love for adventure took him beyond Earth in December 2021, where he became the first space tourist in over a decade to visit the International Space Station. Next is spaceflight participant Yusaku Maezawa. While aboard, Maezawa entertained his social media followers by posting videos about life in zero gravity, showing how to brush teeth, drink tea, and even take photos of his hometown, Shiba, from space. However, his most ambitious dream began in 2018, when SpaceX announced that Maezawa would be the first commercial passenger to fly around the moon. This wasn't just about personal achievement, he had a bigger vision. Maezawa dubbed this mission, Dear Moon. And this mission isn't like any other. I can tell you that I choose to go to the moon. I choose to go to the moon with artists. Imagine a world where artists like Andy Warhol, John Lennon, Pablo Picasso, Michael Jackson, and Coco Chanel ventured into space. Not just to explore the cosmos, but to ignite their creativity. This is no longer a distant dream, thanks to Maezawa and his vision for the Dear Moon project. The mission, which aims to be the first lunar journey undertaken by humanity since Apollo 17 in 1972, is something beyond mere space exploration. 
a bold artistic statement. But why the moon? And why artists? Maizawa's vision isn't just about travelling to space. It's an artistic endeavour to inspire the world. He believes that anyone engaged in creative work is an artist, and this journey is his gift to the global creative community. He handpicked eight accomplished artists from around the world to join him on this monumental voyage with all expenses covered. His hope is that the experience of seeing the Earth and Moon from space will profoundly inspire these artists and lead to creations that will touch the world. But how will they get to the Moon? SpaceX Starship, the cutting edge of space technology. Although it's still undergoing testing, the Starship represents the future of space travel. I've been to a few of the Starship tests. I felt it explode. You're just not even just seeing it. It's like an actual feeling. Like when that shockwave hits you, it's like, whoa, that's, that's a big boy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing this with any thought really of like certain death, you know what I mean? Like a lot of people are like, whoa, there's a death sentence. It's like, no, I would absolutely not get on it if I, right. if I believe that. Its selection for the Dear Moon mission reflects Maizawa's faith in Elon Musk's vision for the future of humanity as a space-faring species. The Starship is more than just a vessel for this mission. Designed to be fully reusable, it is set to revolutionise space travel by making it more accessible and cost-effective. With missions like Dear Moon, Starship is laying the groundwork for future exploration, potentially taking humans to Mars one day. The success of this spacecraft holds the promise of a new era in space exploration. The mission is expected to last around six days and will follow a circumlunar trajectory, meaning the spacecraft will loop around the moon before returning to Earth. This is the same path taken by Apollo 13 and one that NASA's upcoming Artemis II mission will also follow. However, Dear Moon isn't just about traversing physical distance. It's about journeying into the depth of human imagination, creativity and artistic expression. There were over one million people who applied for Dear Moon. So why did Maizawa choose Tim Dodd? Yeah, I love people like Tim that. Dodd is uh, re really great. If you're interested in anything to do with space, um, he's, in terms of uh, explaining rocket technology to your average person, he's awesome. The best, I'd say. Hello and good afternoon. My name is Tim Dodd, but I'm better known as the everyday astronaut. Back in 2012, Tim Dodd made his living as a professional wedding photographer. It's wild to think, today he runs a YouTube channel with over 1.6 million loyal subscribers, where he's interviewed some of the biggest names in the space industry. But where did Tim's passion for space come from? I grew up liking space, you know, I, I mean, I had space shuttle Legos and, and bed sheets and posters, but in my adult life, I kind of fell out of love with space. I got more into music and other things. When I got home, I just had the biggest bug to try to express my childhood obsession of space. It came back. So I started a, a series, a photo series called Everyday Astronaut. One day in 2013, Tim decided to buy a Russian high altitude space suit. As a photographer, he began bringing the suit with him as he traveled the world for wedding shoots. Using a little Photoshop magic, he created a photo series of himself in the space suit which gained a lot of attention online and significantly grew his presence. In 2017, inspired by SpaceX's collaboration with Yusaku Maezawa, Tim posted his first YouTube video with the goal of making space accessible to everyday people. Since then, he has produced numerous videos that break down rocket science in a way anyone can understand. With every new video, Tim's knowledge of rockets deepened thanks to the research he put into them. As impressive as his videos are, Tim also writes and produces the music for them, adding emotional depth to the incredible footage he and his team capture. Over the years, he's built a tight-knit community of space enthusiasts. So much so that Elon Musk and Jeff Bezos have both invited him to their rocket factories. He even contributed to Starship's development in this viral moment. You don't even need a cold gas thruster system. You already have hot gas. But this is only for the booster, right? Yes. Um, Although arguably, now that you mention it, we, should, we, should, we, might, we might, might be wise to do this for the ship too. I'd say that's like one of the biggest improvements that we've made. I gotta admit, that was one when you were talking about the last time and I, I kept thinking about yeah, literally, it. Literally, I was actually, used, I was just, it was like literally occurred to me in real time. Uh, yeah. It occurred to me while I was explaining it to you. I was like, <laughs> wait, what are we doing? Uh, 
But how did Tim win the chance to travel to the moon? And why does he now regret ever saying yes? My name is Tim Dodd. I am from the United In 2022, States. In 2022, Tim was officially selected as one of the crew members for Maisel's Dear Moon project. Tim was set to be the first YouTuber to travel to Cislunar space, and he planned to live stream the entire mission, providing real-time coverage with cutting-edge equipment and Starlink technology. Though this was an incredible opportunity for Tim, his focus has always been on making space accessible to people. This mission was a bonus, a dream extension of his passion for space advocacy. However, something unexpected was about to be revealed shock and confusion after the high-profile Dear Moon mission was cancelled unexpectedly. Everyone following the journey on the outside in disbelief. I unfortunately have to share that the Dear Moon mission has been cancelled. In June 2024, Maisel cancelled the mission. This was due to ongoing delays with Starship's development. He cited uncertainty over when the spacecraft would be ready, and he didn't want to keep the crew waiting indefinitely. Starship had experienced multiple technical challenges during its testing phase. These delays made Maisel's decision understandable, as the timeline for the mission became increasingly unclear. With no definite launch window in sight, the project was indefinitely shelved. This news was devastating for Tim, who took to X to express his disappointment. And just like that, the dreams of my crew are over. I'm extremely disappointed I dreamt about this mission since 2018, and for the last three years, I allowed myself to envision going to the moon. It became a big part of my life, my dreams, and my vision. But space was never something I actively pursued. Everyday astronaut was never about going to space. It was always about bringing space to people. So while it's gut-wrenching to lose this chance, I'm fortunate to have the life and career I have. This cancellation doesn't change that. If I had known this could have ended within a year and a half, I would never have agreed to it in the first place. Every time I look at the moon, it's a reminder of dreams lost. Of what could have been. But I'll continue being a giddy rocket nerd, breaking down space for my fellow everyday people. Tim also expressed frustration with the project's overly optimistic timeline, stating that he had voiced doubts early on about Starship's readiness. Despite his disappointment, Tim acknowledged the positives, saying that through the Dear Moon project, he had gained new friends, had new adventures, and learned more about himself, despite the mission's cancellation. If you love interesting stories about space like this one, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel.